Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we have two topics to talk about. Dancehall Queen Spice reveals some very X-rated news about her and Justin relationship. And Justin also responded and revealed some X-rated stuff as well. As my people, Spice and her Rastaman are going with one bag of thing on the IG right about now. You don't know, say, over this, I will carry the swing right about now. You see my people? And also, I'm going to talk about Shensia's album. You see my people? You don't know, I'm going to go to some information. What if people are this, the album in the sense of it? Being a flop, people are say it's a good album, you know, Zane. But basically, the numbers them wait put on them did I expect more from Shensia's album. You understand? Cause you don't know she have Megan the Stallion, she have Offset pan it, she have Tiger pan it, she have all the big names pan the album. So people did I expect way more copies than what was actually sold and what about the numbers them? It just not look good efficiency where I get so much support from the industry. You understand what I say, people? So those are the topics we're gonna talk about. But before we go into the video, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And make sure you turn the notification bell on for stay notified when I post a new video. Is it my people? So make quick kick it off with Spice and our Rasta man now. Alright people, so I know that Spice is back on the IG page. She been making a whole heap of posts and stuff like that. Now the other day you now she basically post up a couple of photos with her Rasta man and boy, oh boy, did she stir the pot over upon her IG page. Now, people, my mind have to change up some of the words, them, because you don't know how YouTube stay a bit sensitive and stuff like that. You see, my people? So, Spice posts up those photos that you're seeing in the background, and in the caption, she said, From the Rasta get the zoom zoom, him love her for zoom zoom, him get back shot zoom zoom, lizard lap zoom zoom, foot pan shoulder zoom zoom, head tap zoom zoom, roast duck zoom zoom, wheelbarrow zoom zoom, Every day and every night, he want her zoom zoom. And she put some laughing emojis. And she said, good night. And she tag him, J-Bud Media. You see my people? So he actually responded to that. And him say, and the step, him get the zoom zoom. In the pantry, him get the zoom zoom. And the balcony, him get the zoom zoom. And video, and video, him get the zoom zoom. Pin it up on the glass, him get the zoom zoom. Right now, in the shower, he might get the zoom zoom. You see my people? So, you don't know the spice I broke out the rasta, man. <laughs> You see my people, I'm a love the relationship here you now because the man approves say him actually love spice. You see my people, sometimes you hear some people are talk about the man they with her for money. Now people, this guy here, him have him own money. Me not ask no me I tell you no that. Zane, this man in the big screen productions and them thing. You see it? So it's not a brother with those stay home and not do nothing. It's actually a working class man. And the people them where I say the man only want her for her money. And that's because you don't really know what's going on. You understand what I mean? You don't know what's behind the scene. And a whole heap of things this man is responsible for. This man even shot music video for Spice. You understand what I mean? I think the one where she dropped the other day, I think he actually helped to shoot some of it. You see me? The one where named um, Paul Paul with she and Nico. I could be wrong, but I know say I'm actually responsible for shooting a music video for Spice. So, I know I look a rare, rare man, Spice, there with You understand what I mean? So, anyway, after him post up that, Spice respond and she actually put some laughing emojis. You understand, people? So, it's definitely a good thing if you see this guy here just being himself and just loving spice because i'm telling you this every single body need love you understand whether he's a movie star whether he's a dancehall artist every single body need love you understand what i say, people so i think this is a good look i'm always spice and him all the best and may i hope one day in the future maybe soon him pop the question and just you know ask her to become his wife and stuff like that now you gotta have some people that say well you know that might actually make things worse them for just see how things are you understand what me i say but you don't know spice i'm sure say she want to become a wife one day and just you know live that um fair tier life you know she have her family she have her husband and that kind of world you understand what me i say people but regardless it's a good relationship and the two of them are do them thing you understand what me i say people but let me know what you guys think about um um, J-Bud freestyle. <laughs> the man saying at the pantry, him get the zoom zoom. Ah, oh, boy, people. I don't know. Spice, I broke out the Rasta man here now. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to move on to the next topic, which is Shensia's album numbers, or album sales number, I should I say, revealing. And what if people say, boy, oh, boy. The album definitely have flopped, regardless of it having so much good songs on it. 
and having so much good artists on it. You understand what I talk about both internationally and locally. You see me? Locally, you know, so she have man like Beanie Man. And when I say local, Zane, me I talk about people who come from Jamaica. Maybe I should have said Jamaican artists, them Zane, because man like Sean Paul, they're on the album. And of course, you know, so Sean Paul is an international artist, right, people? But let's get into this article right now. And you guys can tell me where you think about this. If you are shocked to hear Shensia pulling these numbers, you see my people, and then we can talk about it a little bit. You see it? So anyway, this is how it says. Shensia's Alpha debut number two on the Billboard charts. Dancehall star Shensia has failed to dislodge Bob Marley from the pole position on the Billboard reggae album charts with her first week sales on her debut album Alpha. On Tuesday, Billboard revealed that Alpha opened at number two on the reggae album chart, a weekly chart that ranks the most popular reggae albums in the United States based on sales and streaming. Alpha first week sales stands at 845 units in pure album sales, while overall sales activity which compromises streaming stands at 4,879. Alpha also debuted at number three on the Billboard Heat Seekers album chart, which highlights and ranks the sales by new and developing musical recording artists each week. Alpha, which was released via Rich Immigrants Interscope on March 11th, did not make an entry on the Billboard Top 200. Meanwhile, on the reggae album chart this week, Bob Marley and the Whalers legend, the best of Bob Marley and the Whalers reigned supreme at number one for the 115 consecutive week with 3,000 copies in pure album sales and 11,200 total units with streaming. In August last year, Spice Album 10 debuted at number six on the Billboard reggae album chart. It sold 676 copies in pure album sales during the first week. Shensia has notched up credits for the first female dancehall artist to hit Billboard Hot 100 in 17 years and the first female Jamaican artist to perform on the Rolling Loud stage in both Miami and New York. She's also the only female DJ featured on Kanye West Grammy nominated album Danda with songs Pure Souls and OK OK Part 2. Last week, Alpha hit number one on iTunes for a historical perspective on the Billboard Reggae Albums chart. Coffee with her Rapture EP peaked at number one in 2019 and Spice with her Captured Mixtape which also peaked at number one in 2018. Etana hit the top spot twice. The last time she accomplished the feature with her album Reggae Forever in April 2018, this achievement ensured her place in reggae history by making her the first female from Jamaica to have back-to-back -back albums on the Billboard chart. Etana first attained the top spot in 2014 with I Rise, which reached number one. So yes, people, what do you guys think about Shensia's album debuting number two on the reggae Billboard chart? You understand? Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. And basically, in physical sales, she only sold 845, you understand? But the total units was um, 4,879, you understand? So, of course, you know, so that had to do with streamings and all of them something, you see it? But, boy, oh boy, the people, them say, them did not expect more from Shensia. Shensia album is a good album. Nobody can deny that. But why is it not selling people? What's the problem? Why dancehall can't get the sale? Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Remember the other day, Shensia did like a check to find out where her music is being played the most. In other words, then, where she have the most Shenyangs? And it was revealed that New York had the most Shen Yangs, you understand? So over there, so she have a big fan base and Jamaica came in at number two, right? So how come she only sold that little bit of amount if she have so much fans in America? You understand what I say? And the next thing is, you have so much followers. I can never understand it. I mean, no, say followers don't equal to album sales. But Jano Star, when you have like five million followers, and you can't even sell 10,000 copies. I mean, no, say Shensia, the 5 million people, them, and a Jamaica alone, are people all over the world. You understand what I say, people? So, we just don't understand it. You have so much followers, and, you know, Shensia is not the only artist we see Tam to. We see Tam to Spice. We see Tam to many other artists, them, them just put out them album, and basically it does not sell. You understand what I say? What is the problem? Is it more people? And the only thing we can say, Hopefully the second week sales for Shensia's album double what it sell. You understand? And maybe it can climb and stuff like that. And we're gonna be honest, people, the songs them that Shensia put out, they weren't like a big big hit because Lick wasn't really a big big hit for make your album go sell like sell whole heap and thing. You understand what I say? So 
you know, I think, I don't know if Shensia chose the wrong songs them to put out or what. I don't really know people. You understand what I say? And at the end of the day, Shensia make a talk, say she want to go in at the pop culture and all of them things. You understand? Now, you see, it's all cool and thing, you know. But Shensia did make a talk, say, yo, you know, she might have to lose fans and them things there. And at the end of the day, if your album has sell that little bit, I don't think you want to lose any fans. Trust me, every single fans count because... You don't know, you never can tell who you're often and them would have actually help for put money in your pocket. You understand what I say? So, you know, even them look at that, they have to kind of be careful of what you are saying because, you know, don't try. Wait, wait, what them say? I'm burning a bridge before you cross it. Yeah, man, people. But big up to Shensi, the same way. You understand? Um, you know, hopefully when they drop a next album, it do better than how this one do. Is romance people, but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.